To replace the motherboard, we're basically uh, taking this plastic that I already unscrew all the screws around. And once you take it out, you will see this cable is actually connected to the foot sensor area here, which is in which is indicated for the light in the front. By pulling it out, it has a little clutch clip. You can take it out, and this come out. Then you take all the screws from the right side, and in here you have three different uh, uh, connection. One is the three pins, which is the same for the light. By pulling the clip, it comes out, and then you have the the charging uh, cable, which is the four pins, the four pins, and then you have the power button cable, which connect to the motherboard with the two pins. Those are the three before you start working on the motherboard. Hi everyone, welcome to YaniDeals.com. Today uh, we're going to show how to replace the motherboard. Most uh, problems that uh, can be solved is by changing the motherboard which is sitting right here. So I'm going to show how to replace the motherboard. Basically the motherboard has two sections. One, the wires go to this side of the motherboard and the other side is in the right side. Basically it's a long all the long uh, wires going from this motherboard inside this tunnel to this side of the of the scooter. Now, basically, we releasing those two knobs here, and the sense the the connection that connect the wheel to the motherboard. Of course, uh, we have to disconnect the battery first before we do anything. Now. We take in the the wires one by one, starting with the with the with the sensor of the wheel, and then we taking the other two wires out, and the last one is the connection of the battery. After everything is out, we also taking the disc. I disconnect already before. Is the same idea of connecting. Those are shorter wires, so you know it's belong to the side where the motherboard is sitting at. Then we have a four screws that actually the motherboard is connect by them. I'm releasing those four screws. And basically, that's what about how to release the motherboard. The motherboard come out. After I uh, took out the other motherboard, now I'm putting the motherboard, the new one. Basically, you could see that we have uh, two part of the screw this and two part of hole this way. So I'm trying to fit the motherboard in between those holes until we see that those screw holes are matching to the to the hole of the motherboard and basically I'm screwing this back first need to match it right hole to hole In this part, I'm going to show you how to pass the wire through the tunnels. If it goes by this order, then it will be easier because obviously it's a very small tunnel. It's hard to fit them. So first we're going to fit the wire of the battery, the power wire that connect to the battery. Then we're going to use the, we're going to put the 
there is a wire there is a two type of wire that come from the motherboard one is with the five pins the other one with four so the five pin will go first and then we push it to the side to give some more room in the tunnel in the tube and then the second one it's a little bit tricky with a little play with it it will go through and then the last one is those three wires that go together belong to the connection of the wheel and you see easy they come in through once they are through we're trying to fit them nicely so they won't interfere with the other wire and the connection here is pretty simple what we do is we're going with five to five it's very easy you cannot get confused and then the four with the four female and what normally I do is I'm gonna hot glue this head pin right to the head of the one that covered the battery so it will hold pretty nice and the, ca the, the wheel cable we're gonna match the colors yellow go with yellow green go with green and blue go with blue after you connected roughly with your hand by hand um, okay uh, basically now after connecting those three you want to kind of tie it with plier basically so you know that it's sitting tight in and as you could see that you have it a little bit bulky here you can pull it a little bit from the other side in order to make it less bulkier there's another idea that after you connect them all to kind of connect this one on top and then when you glue it hard glue it here it will kind of sit more tight to the scooter itself now in this side we have the same connection we have the five pin male go to the five pin female and the a tree going to the tree after that I'm trying to go from the bottom so it will not be so bulky again yellow go with yellow first I connect with my hand and then I will tie it with the plier and the green go with green then I give it a little tight you could feel that it's going a little bit more tight to it and then we have uh, actually this wire is belong to the light that come from the front that indicate light you connected here basically so after that the last thing we do is connect the battery of course every time you want to disconnect something the battery first safety reason after we connect the battery we check before I, I change this motherboard the foot wasn't working the foot sensor and also when you disconnect when you disconnect the uh, when you disconnect the plastic basically you have two wires three wires one go to the front light this is actually indicate the front light this one then you have one which is a four pins that's actually the the charger and then we have the on and off button which is the two pin so you have two pin three pin and four We're checking it out. It's working. Right before I'm putting it back together this way.